Video 3. Other important tidbits. We're going to cover some other basic things about Onshape and its user interface to make sure you have a smooth start as you dive in and start using it on your own. Although Onshape in many ways is similar to other CAD programs, it is also a little bit different. To a new user, frustration can kill enthusiasm, so this is an effort to prevent that. Okay, so notice that as we added more and more sketches and features, their labels also appeared in this left column here in the order that we created them. This area is commonly referred to as the feature tree. As you hover over the different labels, the corresponding sketches and features get highlighted. For the sketches, you can click on the eye icon to show or hide them. You might want to show a sketch, for example, when you want to create a new feature using a previously created sketch. Features, on the other hand, you cannot hide, but you can suppress them. If I decided to get rid of the blind slots we created, I can right-click on Extrude 2 and select Suppress. I could also delete them, which is also accessible in the right-click menu, but I might later change my mind and want the features after all. Then I can just right-click and unsuppress instead of having to recreate the features from scratch. If you ever need to edit a previously created sketch or feature, you can right click on its label and select edit. I'll show you this quickly. So let's say I want to edit this slot. If I right click on extrude 2, I'm given the option to either edit extrude 2 or edit sketch 2. What's the difference? Let's take a look. If I select edit sketch 2, I'm brought back to the original sketch we drew to outline this feature. So here, I can change the position and width of the slots. Let's do that. I'll change the position to 0.4 inches from the left side and the width to 0.05 inches. Click the green checkbox and you'll see our slot has changed. Now, let's see what editing extrude 2 does. Right click extrude 2 and select edit. We see we can change the properties of the extrusion. Let's double the depth from 0.1 inch to 0.2 inch. Note that this will change the depth of both slots. Click the green check button to accept and exit. Now, you might be wondering, what if you only wanted to change the depth of one of the slots? There are at least two answers to that. Either you need to separate the two slots into two different features, so you can set different depths for each of them, or recreate the features so that instead of sketching the profile on the top face, you sketch their profiles on the front face of the part, as we did with the dovetail feature. This way, you could set each slot's width and depth in the same sketch independently. Okay, moving on. So, we've been doing a lot of right-clicking. You can right-click on almost anything in the feature tree. For example, origin, planes, sketches, and features, and a menu will pop up with relevant actions you can perform. You can also right click the white workspace and your part and different features of your part. I encourage you to explore them. In most cases, you can undo any action by either pressing Ctrl Z on your keyboard or pressing the undo button here at the top left of the interface. This top bar here has the different types of features you can create. As you move your mouse over each button, the name will appear and after a second or two, a tooltip with a description of the feature will appear, along with directions on how to use it. For more help, you can always click the Help menu at the top right here. This will take you to various help-related pages. Notice there is also an option here for keyboard shortcuts. It's good practice to look over this and learn some new shortcuts once in a while, so that over time you can significantly increase your 3D modeling speed.